are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. All right, I'm working on a repair of another one of these 300 watt good time inverters. And, uh, you know, the two sources that I've been using is. Or three, I should say. I either use uh, a pair of batteries to get me my 12 or 24 volts. I got this power supply here, which does up to 25 amps, up to 15 volts. But a lot of times, 15 volts is not enough to drive one of these. And I don't have control of the current on this. I just have control over the voltage, so that's not good. This little unit here, which I've had for many years, gives me up to 30 volts but only up to an amp and uh, so I needed something else so I ordered uh, another DC bench power supply and I'm gonna open it up here and show it to you it's pretty well packaged in here instructions on top all right so here we are on the bench here we got it's the Aiton APS 3005S regulated DC power supply. I'll turn it on here. <clears throat> you got amps on the left, volts on the right. I'll crank the coarse volts up, see how high we go. Should go over 30 volts. About 28.6 here. We'll do the fine fine tuning gets it over 30. Okay, that's cool. Go all the way up on the fine tuning up to 13.17. Put that about halfway. <coughs> now I'm going to connect up my voltmeter. Put it on DC volts. Not the easiest thing to do with one hand here, but. See how close these are. All right, you can see 30.1, 30.1. I'm going to connect up the amp side and I'll test that next. All right, so I got a 10 ohm resistor, power resistor, 10 watts. Got my multimeter set up on amps. Got that in series with the output terminals. I'll turn on the meter here. Start cranking up the current. So if I set the this one on, let's say 0.5, not too bad, or nine. Let's go up to one amp. Okay, not too far off. A little bit off. <clears throat> Let's go up to two. Sometimes you have to crank the voltage up to get the current to go up higher. <clears throat> There's two. One nine five. <clears throat> not too bad. See if we get up to three. It's pretty close. Okay. You can feel the heat coming off of it now. <clears throat> All right. I'm pretty happy. So I'll give a thumbs up to the Aiton APS 3005. I, I got it on uh, at eBay. For uh, seventy-two dollars, it's normally seventy-nine. But this is really a bargain. It's not a very, uh, it's not a very high-quality unit, but I don't use it often enough to really justify spending three hundred dollars. So, <clears throat> take a look at the Aiton APS three thousand and five. I'll leave a link in the description. Talk to you later.